Hey guys, Andy here. So, I feel like I've missed out on a few things with Samsung. They do do some good sort of extras, um, and Dex is one of those things. So I've not really, I don't know, I've had a Samsung as a daily for a couple of years now, so I, and I think it's happened in that time. So now that I'm back on a Note 9, I was quite interested to see how it all works. Um, apparently, pretty much any USB Type-C to HDMI cable will make use of DeX in the Samsung device. So with that in mind, I've purchased this Spigen uh, USB-C 3.1 to HDMI cable. It says it can do 4K, but I think you need the actual DeX dock to be able to do 4K from the phone. I'm alright with that. I'm okay with 1080p on, uh, on the TV. And it is apparently pretty much just plug and play. So let's just see what it looks like. So one thing I didn't think about was how long the cable was. Oh, it says it's 2 meters. That's a pretty good length actually. Because if you think about it, pat, match this up with the S Pen being a sort of a remote control and actually presentation things from your phone, a very real possibility, I guess. Even if it's just showing your family your, your photo album, because you can use the S Pen to rotate through the images. So I chose Pigeon one, it wasn't really about price, they were all around about £15. But I think Spigeon, if I'm saying it right, um, it's quite a well-known brand. I don't know if that's got a... It looks a little second-hand, that does, actually. But I won't worry too much. I'm not precious about it. Um, and I suppose at this point, there's not a great deal more to see. That goes in your TV. That goes in your phone. Um, do we need a user manual? Oh, look, just as I said. Well, actually, not your phone, look, but in this case, a laptop. Because it should work for laptops with USB-C as well. I think it works in Macs and stuff like that. I don't think I've got Type-C in my MacBook Air. Um, yeah, I think that's all the instructions are. So I guess really uh, I'm going to have a play and then I'll, I'll try and sort of make the video to show you how it works and, and what you can do with it. So I've had a bit of a play. This is actually like the next day now. Um, I also realized that I need more cameras. Android TV is not powerful enough to screen record, is what I can read. I mean, I've so therefore I've not actually bothered trying to set up a screen record and give it a go. I could waste an hour doing that. Um, so I've just whacked my camera pointing at my TV. I've got you looking at me, but then I've got nothing looking at the actual phone. Um, never mind, I'll try and kind of just show you bits and pieces. There's not a lot to see, it's generally just going to be a trackpad um, and occasionally a keyboard. So there's not much to see in that respect. Maybe we'll see things. So when I plug it in, We hopefully, so there's a little notification has appeared at the top. Two notifications. If the camera can focus on those. Um, using Samsung DeX, tap here to switch to screen mirroring. So the first time I plugged it in, it gave me the choice. Do you want to just mirror your screen or do you want to use Samsung DeX? So you select DeX, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, so the other one's just saying it's a trackpad. So I'm going to scroll it up out of the way. Oh, no, sorry, I think I've got to tap. So I'm going to tap that one. So you see on the TV it says touchpad turned on. Um, and the actual phone has just gone to a touchpad. So I'm just going to pop that literally on my desk. Where's my pointer? There's my pointer. Now, one of the first things... Oh, sorry, I put my phone sideways. And it should, it should be upright. Oh, actually, now I can tap the... So there's a spinny button in the corner you see just up here so i'm hopefully going to tap that there we go so i didn't even tap it actually i just held my phone sideways you know it's moved to the top right so now if i keep the phone sideways there we go um so effectively it's just my phone on the tv just with a different interface. I mean, that's all That's all Windows is, isn't it? Windows is just a user interface. Everything is actually stored in files, folders, whatever, on the hard drive. And Windows 10 is just how you as a user interact with the information that's on your hard drive, really. So, you know, if you put Linux in there, if you install Linux over something and you've still got a, I don't know, a USB hard drive plugged into your computer, let's say, because I'm not going to get too into the fact of if it's on a hard drive, it might be, oh, whatever you can still operate, you can still access that information through Linux rather than through Windows. If you dual boot your computer, I'm fairly sure you can still use the same folders and access the same data. If you've got a photos folder, it doesn't matter if you're on Windows or Linux, they'll still access, do you know what I mean? So that's all we're doing here, really. I mean, it's the same operating system, so it's not quite a great example, maybe, but it's just a different way that we're accessing things on my phone. So 
maybe a good example is I don't think I've got I don't think I've got anything dodgy <laughs> in my albums. Um, there we go. There's our look, well done out, posing in the dark. Um, the trackpad at this point, it works a lot like my MacBook Air. I don't know if all trackpads on laptops these days work that way, but using two fingers means I can just scroll. Okay, brief interruption on the screen. It did happen to me the first time I did it, and then it just kind of, it was fine for like 10, 20 minutes. Um, that's the headphones I'm reviewing. Oh, I've got to be careful because it might have, people send me some weird stuff on WhatsApp, so let's hope there's nothing there. Um, so let's say, for example, somewhere out of video, let's play any of these videos, I can find that that's, video. Oh, that's, that should do. Now, it's probably not going to relay too well through my camera watching the TV, and it wasn't actually this video, it was a video of my motorbike somewhere, it was the sound test that I did. But it's the first time, so this TV, I've had it for, I don't know, three or four months, um, 4K, HDR and all of that, uh, and it's just not, at the same time, we've got a bigger TV in the living room, slightly more expensive Samsung, and the one in the living room, I've kind of have looked and gone, that's amazing, and this one, I've never really done that until I used Dex. I mean, even that image, so I'm I'm reasonably sure it's only using 1080p, but maybe it's the HDR effect, maybe it's the maybe it's the, partly the Note camera. It looks amazing. I do want to try and find the motorbike actual video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, MotoGP. Oh, where was it then? I'm sure I watched it. That's a little bit weird. There's another one. So again, you're probably not going to get that. I mean, actually, that's not as good because it is low light. You can see all the lights on. Um, but anyway, just kind of, I was really, really, really impressed how the videos from the phone looked on the TV. Really impressed. In some ways, better than like Netflix and things like that. Um, so I've lost my pointer. There we are. Give myself a bad neck. So it is just like a little Windows. No, I can't remember. Can I drag that around? No. Oh yeah, I can say so three fingers. Let's me just move the the window. Um, so we've got you know other apps from. Again, I would assume three fingers. Oh, oh three. I resized that one. So three fingers in the middle. No. So I do need to be on the kind of, no, oh, we're doing all sorts with three fingers at this point. Oh, two fingers has let me move it this time. I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, but this is just the, fine, let's, let's close that down again. So some apps are set up to specifically work with Dex. Um, so that you can resize, you can move them around. There's all our sort of settings as you would imagine. If we come down and start looking at some of the different um, icons and options and things. So we've got basically our kind of regular nav bar buttons. So if we hit here, we get our actual apps explorer. Um, what's a good one to open to show you? I mean, Facebook should be safe, I would have thought. When I say safe, I kind of, it's not just about, it's about kind of me putting personal information up on the screen for you from apps. Um, Blu-ray or 4K, what is better? Does that actually not make sense? Um, oh, no, look at that geezer. Look. Android Andy, what's he doing? So you can see there that... Hello, Drew. Hello, mate. Sorry. So you can see there, basically, Facebook, it's not been... Um, what's the word? Redes not redesigned. It's not been made compatible with Dex, I guess. So you've literally got... Um, if we can move that over, you've literally got just a, uh, a sort of a, a window that emulates the phone. Now, what happens if I? Whoa! I'm just wondering if I can resize. Now I can't even. Which surprised me a little bit, because as a developer, you kind of you can't bank on any particular screen size. That could be on a tablet. That could be on a tiny phone with a low resolution so I'm a little surprised I can't just click and drag 
no um, the, the window to change its size because in theory Android should just adapt to whatever pixels it's got that's how that's how it works um, it's not a big issue it's you know that's that's fine you can open up what else G so I have to put it up in a G Sam so obviously that one's not can I click with one and then drag with another no so I have to double click I think I kind of then you can change the pointer sensitivity which I did I turned it down a little bit because I was finding that the point was just flying around the screen just a little movement on my touchpad but at this point I kind of see why I might want to turn it up a little bit we'll probably I think we come to that in a little while so along the bottom now we've got the different apps and obviously you can just tap one to bring it into focus um, they would just fill up along the on the bottom there um, I need to hover over to oh is that notifications I think that's notifications and there is the notification great app people go and get regular reminders Samsung Dex if we tap that touchpad is on that's all oh, so we're still in just notifications rather than kind of options and things um, we have got oh yeah work profile is off battery blah blah blah, blah. quick settings if, should we want them are there so you can turn any of them on and off fine um, what have we got? Learn more about Samsung Dex. How to use that. So there's there's some bits and pieces in there. Lock phone and Samsung Dex. So this one brings up the keyboard. So basically, um, yeah, it, it would literally just bring up the keyboard in the bottom of the phone like you would expect it to do. And then obviously just the calendar. Well, that's my actual Google Calendar. So, I mean, that's it really. I don't think it's massively detailed and complicated it's just a different interface into your phone um, you can get so I'm using this cable obviously which seems to be doing the job just fine apart from that weird interruption that I've had both times I've used Dex early on it's done a weird interruption and then it's been fine so I don't know if there's a that's a common thing um, but yeah you can get an actual dock I think the dock lets you do I was gonna say 4k but the phone's only 2k but I suppose that isn't the it's not like you're replicating the phone screen it is a whole new so maybe it's 4k um, and I've got to say it's, it's kind of tempting to get I, I don't think I will use Dex all that much but at the same time it's a, just a it is a really cool feature and I can so I was having a discussion with a friend the other day the new gener, new generation teenagers these days they don't really have or even sort of people in their own 20s I don't think they're as likely to have a computer as people of my generation so I grew up with computers, we didn't have smartphones, we didn't have tablets. If you wanted to browse the internet, you were generally doing that on a computer. That's not the case now. People don't really need computers. They're, you know, I think a lot of my friends, they just don't have computers. A lot of them. Um, whereas actually, if you could have a monitor and a cable that lets you plug your phone in like this, if you happen to be lucky enough to have a Bluetooth keyboard, I have done a video of it, people, I forgot what it's called now, G613. Yeah, go and look it up. So I can I can just press a Bluetooth button and connect it to my phone, and I could be you know I could bring up for Facebook, whatever, and be tapping away at typing posts. If you get a, I haven't got a I've got a I've got a cabled mouse. If you get a Bluetooth mouse, you connect that to your phone as well, and you've got a little workstation. You've you've got a little computer that you can do all this kind of stuff. You know, you get yourself just need a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse, and you've got an actual computer. So I don't know. I, I think it is. It is a really cool feature of Samsung phones um, that I've never tried to this point. And actually, I'm really impressed. I really like it. It's very good. So I don't know. There's not much more to say. It is It is generally it's quite a simple thing, but it's just so cool. It is so cool. Um, anyway, so I'd love to know your thoughts. Am I being a bit weird? <laughs> or do you agree that actually it's a really cool feature? Do you use Samsung Dex? I'd love to hear if people, you know, actually make use of that, especially if it's kind of you don't have a computer and, and you use this at home on a monitor, um, like, like, you know, like as I'm explaining. Uh, I'd just be really interested to hear. So, sorry, I've waffled on quite a bit, a lot of rubbish in there. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon. Well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also come have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or requests for me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.